thank and praise God once again for all the songs and all the testimony when the glory of the Lord. Thank and praise God for the offering. Now we turn to make the service in the name of the Lord. Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Good morning tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you have a great day. We thank you for his love and kindness. We thank God for his tender mercy. We thank God for each and every one. That is your present tonight. Our Lord has blessed us. All of us simply gather down to worship the Lord in spirit and truth. We're grateful to God for his love and his kindness that he has shown towards us. Thank God for all the men that are preaching and teaching the words of truth in the day in which we now live. Know that we are living, as the scripture says, in the last dark and evil days. We are grateful to God for that. Thank God always for the word because if it wasn't for the word, then everybody and everything would be right. <clears throat> but we have a word of God and thing, which is right and thing, which is able to save every human living if they would try to obey what the word of the Lord says. Because the word is the information that is given to us from God, and we will know how we should live as a people. And we just thank God for that in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we get started in the Word of God, 15th chapter of First Corinthians. 15th chapter of First Corinthians. Okay. Always glad for God's Word. All right, let's get started. 15th chapter of Corinthians, First Corinthians, verse one. What it says? More brother. Uh huh. I just. I receive unto I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, uh -huh. which also you have received, uh -huh. and wherein you stand. The gospel wherein you receive and stand. Let's see what it says. I wish also you are saved if you keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless you have believed. Well, what we, what we have to do, brothers and sisters, keep in memory that which we have received that which we have heard the things that we have heard we got to keep in memory of those things whatever the word of god says whatever it teaches us we then have to keep in memory you know it's like remembering what we need to do we got to just keep that in mind all right go ahead verse three for i deliver unto you uh -huh. first first of all all that which i also received how mm -hmm. that christ died for our sins according to the scripture. Amen. So we thank God for Christ doing what? Dying for us. Amen. According to the scripture. Scripture gives us explicit information about Christ and him dying for us. The reason he died for us and shed his blood so that our sins could be forgiven. We could have remission of sin. What scripture says if there had not been no, no shedding of blood, then there would be no remission of sin. But we thank God for him shedding blood for us who the entire world. Because the Lord said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Read the book. And that, and that he was buried and that he rose again. He was buried and that he rose again. The third day. The third day. According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. Read. And that he was seen a secret. Uh-huh. Then of the twins. Yes. After that, he was seen of about five hundred brothers uh -huh. at once, of whom the great part remain to this present, but some are falling asleep. Yes. After that, he was seen of James. Seen of James. Then of all the apostles. Of all the apostles. Read. And last of all, he was seen of me also. Uh huh. As of one born out of due time. Amen. All being born out of due time. You know, God has a time and a place for everything. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Amen. Time and a place for everything. For everybody. You know, read the book. For I am the least of the apostles. Uh -huh. That I am not meant to be called an apostle. Yes. Because I have persecuted the church. Paul, Paul let us know. You know I, I have a position here where I shouldn't even have it. Because I persecuted the church, you know. Paul really persecuted the church. He really came down on the church. And as one scripture say, if he had found any in that way, that he would 
when he was going to get a uh, letter from the high priest mm -hmm. that he would want to bind him up when Paul came along and God changed. We thank God for the change that God can do in anybody's life. Is that all right? Amen. Read the book. Verse 10. But by the grace of God. But by the grace of God. I am what I am. I am what I am. And this grace which was bestowed upon me. The grace which is bestowed upon me. Not in vain. Yes. But I laid them more abundantly than they all. Yes. Did not I, but the grace of God which was with me. You let me know. It's not us that do it, but it's Christ. It's the God in us that is doing it. We have to be thankful for God giving us this mind, the desire to do the will of God. Read. Therefore, whether it were I or they, uh -huh. so we preach and so we believe. So we preach, so we believe. Now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some of them, some, some among you, that there is no resurrection. Well, there, there is always something that come up among the people that somebody will say, well, it didn't happen. It's not so. And it happened back then. These things that go on in life now. Even people, some is, is fighting. There is a son of God, some there is not. We know we have to believe God according to Scripture. I'm saying that because it's, it happened. It happens. There are things that come up that will always come up mm -hmm. among the people of God like here. Some say it is a resurrection, some say it's not. Mm -hmm. So there are always those times when people will say, yes, it, it is, no, it's not. So whenever you hear something and it's a controversy, a controversy mm -hmm. among the people, yes. know that it's nothing new, but that it only has been. Mm -hmm. Read the book. Now your Christ be preached uh -huh. that he rose from the dead. Yes. How say some among you? How say some where? That now you say some among you. That what? And there is no resurrection of the dead. There is no resurrection of the dead. What else? But if there be no resurrection of the dead. Listen what he said. Uh, he he came to confirm. If there is no resurrection of the dead, listen what he said. Then is Christ not risen. Then Christ is not risen. And if Christ be not risen, and if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. Then all the preaching. Do we preach that Christ is risen from the dead, and Christ being the first born from the dead. If that's the case, what we're doing is in vain. Amen. And your faith also is also in your vain. faith is in vain. Read. Yea, and we are found false witness of God. Yes. Because we have testified of God. That he raised, raised up Christ. If he didn't raise up Christ, if Christ not risen, then the thing that we say is a lie. Amen. Amen. Is that right? Amen. But we preach the truth of God by faith, knowing that he has, according to the scripture, mm -hmm. has been risen from the dead. Amen. All right. Whom he raised not up. Uh -huh. If so be that the dead rise not. If so be that the dead rise not. But if the dead rise not, uh -huh. then is not Christ risen. Then is Christ not risen? Amen. Read. And if Christ be not risen, your faith is vain. Your what is vain? Your faith. Your faith. Because we're doing this by faith. Amen. This is all a faith way. Yeah. We all do this by faith. Yeah. Faith is something things on for evidence of a thing not seen. We're striving by faith yes. to do what God say and to believe God according to the scripture. Yeah. Now, this is faith. You got to walk by faith every day. One scripture says the just shall live by faith. Faith is something things hope for. It's evidence. We're living that we live like God say. Do what God say. By faith we will be raised from the dead and we will live for, with Christ throughout eternity. Mm -hmm. Alright? And if Christ be not risen, uh -huh. then faith is in vain. Yes. You are yet in your sins. You are yet in your sins. Then they also which are fallen asleep in Christ. Uh -huh. are, are, are present, 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 present. Okay. They read that verse again. Then they also which are fallen asleep, fallen asleep in Christ uh, are perished. 
All right, read the book. If in this life only we have hope in Christ, mm -hmm. we are of all men more miserable. Yes. But now is Christ risen from the dead. Now is Christ risen from the dead. And because the first fruit of them that sleep. Yes. For since by a man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. By man came death. Who? What man, Adam? What man by the resurrection? By life has come by what man? Who? Christ. Adam caused us to be in the state we in. Christ Jesus, the man, Christ Jesus, caused us to be able to be saved by the life that he lived. By one man, sin entered. By one man, death came. Read. For as in Adam, all died. For as in Adam, all died. Even so, in Christ shall all be made alive. Amen. And Adam, we all die. You know, the Lord told us, they don't eat from them. Don't eat from this tree, because if you do, you're going to die. And what happened? Man died. Mm -hmm. Now, through Christ Jesus, by him coming, by him walking this earth, doing what he, the Father said to you, now we all have a chance to do what? Live. Mm -hmm. By being obedient to what the word of the Lord said. Yes, Lord. We have this chance if we take it. Read the book. But every man in his own order, Christ the first fruit. Yes. Afterward, they that are Christ at his coming. Uh huh. Then cometh the end. Then cometh the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom unto God, even the Father. Yes. When he shall have put down all rules and all authority when, and power. And he said, Then cometh the end. When he shall have delivered up the kingdom to God. Evil to the Father. Ain't that something? He gonna deliver the key up to God, even the Father. Is that all right? Amen. And then gonna put all rules and all authority and all power. Amen. Read the book. For he must reign till for he must reign till he have put all enemies under his foot. Amen. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Well, one thing about it, brothers and sisters. Friends, we don't have to die through our Lord Jesus Christ. The last enemy that should be put to death is, is that right? The last enemy shall be, is death. Death shall be put, destroyed, shall be gotten rid of. And it's through Christ Jesus, because of him, we can live again. If we obey what the word of God says, strive to be all God would have us to be. All right, continue. For he hath put all things under his feet. Yes. For when he said all things are put under him, it is manifest that he is expected, mm -hmm. which is did put all things under him. All right. And when all things shall be subdued unto him, uh -huh. then shall the Son also himself shall be subject, be subject <laughs> unto him. That put all things under him. And, that's how, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also, mm -hmm. then shall the Son also, and, so, yes. and, and when all things shall be subdued unto him, then shall the Son also himself be subject to him that put all things under him. That God may be all in all. Ain't that right? Everything will be put, everything will be subdued. He's going to be subject to all things that should be put on him. That's letting us know. There is a power that he, he's dealing with. Some people don't believe that there is a Son of God in heaven. Amen. But according to the scripture, there is a Son of God in heaven. Amen. All power is given unto him. Amen. But then, it's going to be all reduced back to the one. Ain't that some blessing? Read the book. Else what shall they do which shall baptize for the dead? What shall they do? Those that have been baptized for the dead? If the dead rise not, uh -huh. all, why are they then baptized for the dead? Uh -huh. And why stand we in jeopardy every hour? Uh -huh. I suppose by your I protest by your rejoicing. Which I have in Christ Jesus, 
Our Lord, our God is. We have to die how long? Yeah. Every day. It's always something that we have to die to. Yeah. Ain't that something? What does that in spirit mean? If the dead rise not, uh -huh. let us be in his running, for tomorrow we die. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Jesus communication for what was now. Don't be deceived, brothers and sisters. Yes, Lord. Evil communication. Jesus. It corrupts. Yes. Down. Yes. So the thing we want to do and be able to be able to do is to live like the word they do. Let no communication proceed out of your mouth. Because evil communication, it does corrupt good man. Yeah. Ain't that something? Children, remember that. Yeah. Evil communication. All kind of evil talking, all kind of things being said. Evil communication. You can be memorable, you can be nice. But if it be round, those that is talking evil communication, it'll do something. It'll corrupt you. Good now. Read that again. Be not deceived, verse 33. Be not deceived. Uh -huh. Evil communication corrupt good man. Evil communication corrupt good man. Read. They wait to rush. I did not what we want to do. I'll wait to the things that are right. Awake to righteousness. Awake to doing what God said. Awake to being obedient. Awake to righteousness. Who all of us. Awake to righteousness. And what else? And sin not. And sin not. Ain't that all right? Amen. Verse 34 again. Awake to righteousness. Awake to righteousness. And sin not. And sin not. For some have not this knowledge of God. Some will have this knowledge. Can I speak this to your shame? Uh huh. But some man just said, how are the dead? Listen? Some people going to say, well, how is the dead raised? Right. No, people always have a question. Mm -hmm. People, I mean, it's, 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 a, it's another, it, it, it always occurs. It always will be there. People will always have questions. Some questions is foolish questions, mm -hmm. but people do have questions. All questions is not a, a, a good question to ask. Mm -hmm. Because some, one scripture said, boy, foolish questions. Some people can ask foolish things. But that's what scripture teaches. Mm -hmm. Some people should be able to ask any kind of question. Some question according to scripture is foolish question. That's right. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Something to deal with salvation, deal with the saving of someone's soul, or someone to be helped in some spiritual manner or something, then that's not a bad question. But if you ask, but according to scripture, some are foolish questions. Yes. But what he says here? Well, some man would say, how about the dead raised up? I mean, like, how is the dead raised up? Raised up. And with what body do they come? What body come? Read the book. By food. That which thou souls is not quickened, the self is dying. And that which is not, which is soul is not quickened unless it dies. So there has to be a death and then being able to be quick or being able to be raised. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. You know, you got some corn, you know, and you get no watermelon that's coming up. That seed had to go through, through some changes. Is that right? Yeah. You just can't take the seed and just put it. It has to go through a change. So do we. If we want to live for the Lord, we go into his life, but then there are things we have to die to in order for the change to come in our lives. Yeah. Read the book. And that which thou sowest, Thou sowest not that body that shall be. You don't sow the body that shall be. Read. But thou grain. Grain. But it changes of wheat. Uh huh. Some other grain. Yes. But God gave it a body. God gave it a body. As it had pleased him. Uh huh. And to every seed his own body. And every seed his own body. Read. All flesh is not the same flesh. Mm -hmm. But there is one kind of fish in man. One kind of fish in man. Another fish. Another fish. Of beast. Another flesh of beast. Another fish. Another fish. And another of bird. Right. Go ahead. There are some celestial, celestial bodies. And body terrestrial. Yes. But the great of the glory. The glory of the celestial is one. Is one. And, and the glory of the terrestrial. Uh huh. It's different glory. Yeah. 
The body that we're in now, you're in this body, it's going to be a changed body. It's going to be a different body. Is that right? It's going to be a glorified body. Is that right? Yeah, as he is, so shall we be. It's not going to be the same old body, but it's going to be glorified. Is that right? It's just like you plant corn. You plant corn. It's not the same way it's when, it, when it come up as it was when it went down. Is that right? Amen. So is with our body. Though we live in this body of sin and corruptness, but when we go in the grave and come back up, it will be a different, and it will be a different body. Yeah. Glorified. Yeah. Read the book. There is one glory of the sun. There is one glory of the sun. And another glory of the moon. Uh huh. And another glory of the star. And another glory of the star. On one side different from another star. In glory, don't we? Yeah. Every star is not the same. There's some stars that shine the brightest. Is that right? Yeah. Some stars that do different things. But there's a glory. And their glory is different. Read. So also is the resurrection. So of also is the resurrection of the dead. If it is, it is sown what? Corruption. It is sown in corruption. It is raised in corruption. In corruption. You may be going down in corruption, but raised in corrupt. Is that right? Read the book. It is sown in dishonor. Sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. Raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. Uh huh. It is raised in power. Ain't that all right? Yeah. Sown in weakness. So it's going to be a different body. It's going to be a change that's going to take place within us. Is that right? Yes. Amen. You know, Jesus, he went to the grave and came back. When he came back, he was able to appear and disappear. Is right. The disciples sitting around, and he appeared unto them. What a glorious body. Amen. So yeah, our body will be fashioned mm -hmm. as his glorious body. Mm -hmm. That's a blessing. Amen. All right, continue. It is sown in a natural body. Sown in a natural body. It is raised in spiritual body. Amen. Sown in a natural body. But it's going to be raised. What kind of body? Spiritual, spiritual body. Spiritual. So it's going to be a change within the body. Mm -hmm. All right, continue. There is a natural body. Listen to what the scripture says. There is a natural body and, a spiritual and there is a spiritual body. Read. And so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. And thank God for Jesus Christ that went down to the grave, came back for us, that we may be able to live according to the scripture, be able to have hope while we're in this world, knowing that if we die in Christ, die, go down in natural body, we can be raised a spiritual body. We thank God for you. May God bless you and keep you in our prayer. Is there anything else? Okay. Nothing else. Let's stand. Okay. Now to him that is able to keep you from falling, and that your fall is on the prince of the glory of exceeding joy. To all the wise God, I will say to you, to all the majesty. The man is powerful, not ever.